Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure delivery optimization using Microsoft Intune. We can use delivery optimization settings for our Windows devices to reduce bandwidth consumption when those devices download applications and updates. The Windows updates, upgrades, Office 365 updates and applications can contain packages with large files. As we know, downloading and distributing updates can consume quite a bit of network resources on the devices receiving them. Delivery optimization allows Windows devices to download the contents from peers rather than going to internet. Devices don't download the entire file from one place or PC. Instead, the big files will get divided into small pieces and downloaded. Devices uses the fastest, most reliable download source for each part. This is a distributed CAT solution using peer-to-peer -peer transfers for content downloads. It utilizes the Microsoft Delivery Optimization Service for peer discovery. The Microsoft Delivery Optimization Service tracks peers based on a defined grouping strategy. This way, clients requesting content can get peers list belonging to their group. Delivery optimization can be very useful for Windows Update for business deferral policies as the patch size are pretty big and this will help organizations to avoid downloading the same patch again and again in the same network with high utilization of internet. It is enabled by default in Windows 10 1709 and above version. But like always, you want to control the situation, so we set up a configuration profile to do so. With Intune, we can configure delivery optimization settings by setting up a configuration profile. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile Plus icon. Select Windows 10 and later Platform. Click on drop down arrow and select Templates Profile. From the list, select Delivery Optimization Template. Now click on Create. On the basic step, enter a descriptive name for this device configuration profile. We have given name Taste Delivery Optimization Profile. Optionally, you can enter a description for this profile. Description is optional but recommended. Click on Next. On Configuration Settings page, we have multiple options to select. We have plenty of settings on this page. I'm not going to explain each and every settings. We will only discuss those settings which we are going to use in our Delivery Optimization Profile. You can click on More to open documentation web page for more information on delivery optimization settings and CSP. Here we have first setting name download mode. This setting specifies the download method that delivery optimization can use to manage network bandwidth consumption for content distribution scenarios. Click on drop down to configure download mode. Here we can define who is going to be peer? Every client within a network is a possible peer, but also every client on the internet. The most commonly used mode are mode 1 and mode 2. In this example, we will select HTTP blended with peering behind same net. 
clients will get updates from the internet and from other computers on our network that are behind the same NAT IP addresses. This is recommended if all your computers are on the same LAN. So let me select mode 1 for our delivery optimization profile. We also have the option to restrict peer selection. We can select subnet mask option which won't allow device to download the content from another peers if they are on a different subnet. Peers within same subnet will be reachable to download content. In this example, I'll select a subnet mask. Now we need to select how Intune determines the maximum bandwidth that delivery optimization can use across all concurrent download activities. Remember, downloads from LAN peers are not throttled even when this policy is set. Let me click on drop down arrow to see the options. From all available options, we will select percentage with business hours. After selecting bandwidth optimization type, next we have to specify the settings for maximum foreground download bandwidth limit. First, we need to specify the business hour which is going to be 9 am to 6 pm. Let me select 6 pm. Okay. Specify 40 percentage during business hours and 100 percentage outside business hours. Now, we need to specify the maximum background download bandwidth limit. Again, we need to specify the business hours, which is going to be 9 am to 6 pm. Specify 40 percentage during business hours and 100 percentage outside business hours. Delaying HTTP download allows few seconds to find the peers and prioritize it accordingly. Once this time is reached, device will download content from HTTP source. We will specify 60 seconds for each setting. Now we have settings for caching. Minimum RAM required for fear caching in GB is going to be 2GB. Minimum disk size required for peer caching in GB is going to be 32GB. This is a recommended value, change as your need. For minimum file size to be catch, recommended value is 10. You can specify between 0 to 1000. We will keep 10 in this example. Specify minimum battery level required to upload in percentage. We will type 40. Recommended is 40. You can specify the value between 0 to 100. Catch drive is going to be system drive. So we need to type the same value percentile system drive percentile. So system drive is going to be a catch drive. Specify the maximum retention period for each content item in catch. The recommended value is 7 days. We will type 30 days. Next, specify the maximum catch size that delivery optimization can utilize. Click on drop down and select absolute option. Type the maximum catch size to 10 GB. Suppose if you want to know more about particular settings, you need to click on this tooltip to get information about that specific settings and its uses. In this example, we are not going to define VPN peer caching. We can also set one or more delivery optimization network catch servers that will be used by our client. One or more values can be added as either fully qualified domain names or IP addresses. We are not going to define catch servers in this example. So we have configured settings with these values for testing purpose. You can configure these settings as per your organization's requirement. Now I'm going to click on next to continue. In scope tags, 
we can assign a tag to filter the profile to specific groups. We will go with the default scope tag. Click on next. We will be on assignments page. Under included groups, click on add group and from the list choose the group to target. We have created one taste device group named DO taste devices. So from the list, we will select DO taste devices group. Click on select. We have one device in our taste device group. Click next to continue. On applicability rules tab, specify rule on how to apply this profile within an assigned group. We are not going to define it. So I'm going to click on next. Review the settings which we have configured for this device configuration profile. When ready, click on create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message profile created successfully. Click on refresh to see the updated profile list. We can see the newly created device configuration profile for delivery optimization. Now to test the result, let's go to our test Windows 10 device. First of all, we are going to initiate manual sync with Intune. Click on sync and wait for the sync process to complete. This Windows 10 device is member of our test device group on which we have assigned the delivery optimization profile. Okay, sync was completed successfully. To see the result quickly, I'm going to restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, sign in to this Windows 10 device. To see the result of device configuration profile, we will open registry editor. Open run menu, type rag edit and press enter key. Click on yes. Go to HK local machine, click on software, click on Microsoft, click on policy manager, click on current, click on devices and click on delivery optimization. Let me maximize it. Here we can see all the registry entries related to our delivery optimization profile configuration. So we can confirm that the device configuration profile for delivery optimization is applied successfully on our test Windows 10 device. We also want to confirm the same from Intune portal. But before that, let's one more time initiate manual sync with Intune. Click on info and click on sync. Under policies, we can see delivery optimization is listed. That means that profile is successfully applied on this Windows 10 device. Okay, last sync was completed. Let's go back to Intune portal. Click on refresh. Click on a profile name. Click on view report. Here we can see check-in status for our test Windows 10 device. Check-in status is success which confirm that the delivery optimization profile is applied successfully on our test Windows 10 device named labwin 10 cli 2 That's all for this video on how to configure delivery optimization using device configuration profile in Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.